Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a really simple um, to tog rig that you use from shore, from the boat. Um, it's really easy to make and when I go for tog I make sure I pre-tie at least six of these things before I go up because you you will more than likely lose a bunch of these rigs. So to start off with, let me just tuck this in a little more. Alright, so to start off with, um, you can use, I use a um, 50 pound leader. Um, this is just cheap stuff. It's like six bucks. I think it was like, yeah, seven bucks. So this is actually 40 to pound, but I'm going to do it with this for now. So what you do is grab the tag end of your new leader material. Fold this back in, pinch it right here. And let's see, make sure this is recording. Loop it back over itself. And this is a surgeon's loop. Through twice. And you pull nice and tight. That's it. And this is the end that the sinker will be going on. And obviously you snip this little tag off. Don't need that. Usually just leave quarter inch or so just in case there's some um, uh, given it, it there's still enough tag to um, for the line to catch and then this part I'm going to try and do this in front of the camera um, never done this this weird angle so um, dropper loop so go I like to go hmm, like 10 inches above the surgeon's loop if you know if you haven't done a dropper loop before just look online Everyone does it different. This is just a weird, I'm at a weird angle right now. So I just twist it a couple of times. And then you grab this end, pull it through. You make sure you wet it, saliva something. All right. Got your dropper loop. <clears throat> That's about yeah, eight to 10 inches above the surgeon's loop that will be holding the sinker. And then when fishing for tatog, obviously you don't want braid hook right on your braid. You don't want to be making rigs out of braid for tatog because it will shred immediately. Um, and then you want enough leader material. So if the fish does run in a rock and the rock, it's like a boulder field and they're huge rocks, um, you have enough leader above the hook where the fish is to rub on the rocks and um, take the stress away and the potential to break line away from the braid. All right, and then, yeah, I'll do like two, two foot or so, and then I'll actually do another surgeon's loop. And this will be the end that goes to the main line. I'll use a swivel <clears throat> on the main line to attach this to, and that just makes it easier for when I have to change rigs out. Let's snip this. Then for Tatog, I like to bring with me size 2 watt, 3 watt, and 4 watt hooks um, just because some days they're barely nipping at the crab or some days they're just devouring it. You can use size 4 if you want. Um, it'll help keep the smaller fish away too or keep you from hooking the smaller fish. So um, grab your hook and make note of which side is the shorter end that your sinker will be going on to because you want the hook to point up because you're pulling up. So let's see, so you grab the loop, the dropper loop, pinch it so it'll fit through the eye of the hook. And just sort of make it fit through the eye of the hook. And then face the hook, this bow right here, face it up the leader where the rod will be going. Put down around and you pull it. That's it, that's secured. And then um, with a little bit of a heavier leader, it actually keeps the hook out and away from the sinker and it um, just presents it away from the leader material itself. And then, let's see. So this is all set to pretty much to go on the rod, except for one thing. So on my rigs, I like to use a breakaway. So a breakaway is essentially a portion of the rig that if it gets stuck, 
it will save your rig, but you might you'll lose a sinker more than likely. So to make a breakaway, you do the same thing, surgeon's loop. And then let's see, surgeon's loop, leave it like maybe two inches. Sit. And you take the surgeon's loop of the breakaway, put it over this loop that the sinker would go onto at the bottom of the rig, and back through. And that's it. Um, then you grab your sinker. Just grab, I'm just grabbing whatever sinker's around. Grab your sinker. Put that through. That's the breakaway. That loops back back around the sinker and pull it. So if a fish bites that, it's it will break. So if you watch, say this, you cut, you hook it to tog and it runs away and gets to the rocks. This will should snap pretty easily, like that. Um, you will lose your sinker, not a big deal, but you will get your fish in. You have a higher chance of getting your fish in. And you don't really, you don't have to retie a whole rig, depending on whether or not how damaged your your leader material is. But that is it in a nutshell. So it's this is a really simple rig. You could use a kayak boat from shore. Um, it's effective. It works. And if you use this breakaway at the bottom, I'm actually just going to salvage this one right now. Just make a new breakaway. But um, if you use this breakaway, I promise it will see. It'll actually help you get those fish in after they're stuck instead of the the fish dying in the rocks and you being frustrated. You'll get the fish in more than likely. I'm just going to make a new one. Um, again, so make like six of these before you go out because if, if the bite's good, you don't want to miss miss out on it. So just have them pre-rigged, ready to go with the um, with the breakaway material on it. So this is 15 pound test, by the way, if I didn't mention that. Um, and bring lots of sinkers. So I bring probably 10 2 ounce, 10 3 ounce, 10 4 ounce. And then I'll bring jig heads with me that I made. Let's see. So I actually made these right here. This is ounce and a half. Um, this is a three out hook in the back of it. The mold cost fifty bucks, but it was worth it. Um, the hooks weren't that expensive. They're must nice mustads. Um, I don't know about color, but I just use green just because everyone says it works and it's bright. Um, and to tug our sight feeders. So that's really it guys. So I hope you guys take this video and make use out of it and you tie some of these rigs. I, I think it'll help you. Um, it's pretty simple. So and it also work with it for other fish too, like scuff, whatever. So anyway, guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe.